Okay, well we have a new system here. I'll describe the making of the tank at a, at a later date. But this tank is a little unique in its design. Today what we're going to do is uh, go through the process of filling the tank using the level sensor. You can switch that on at your dash. The red light comes on when it's down at this level here. And as you fill it up to the second and third level, different lights will come on to show where it is. We need to have the electrolyte uh, floating in this range here. We don't want to go any higher than that because this area has to be used up for gas, foam and expansion and things. <coughs> okay, so we've got some pre-mixed electrolyte turned on. And as we start filling it up, as it reaches the next level, the light will change. Okay, we've reached the next level. Continue filling. Okay, we reach the secondary level. Okay, it's now ready to seal off with a cap that has an O-ring in it, threaded cap. We have a one-way valve that flows in this direction. The, the reason for having this one-way valve is that when the tank gets warm, the gas in this area here will be warm and expanded. And when you switch the system off and everything cools down, it will create a vacuum in this area here, sucking on this tube that goes to the bubbler, drawing water from the bubbler. Well, we don't want that to happen, so this one-way valve lets air go back into the system instead. And that overcomes that problem of the bubbler being drained. 